These are the images that will stay locked in the French public's mind for decades to come. One of the most violent days in the country's recent history. First, the end of the siege northeast of the capital, two hostage takers dead. Then, a few minutes later, mayhem at a Jewish supermarket in the city itself, as police storm the building to release hostages. Four of them were killed, probably before the police action. But now, as the security operation continues, the questions begin. Just before his death in a hail of bullets, one of the magazine attackers boasted in a phone call with French television that he had received backing from Al-Qaeda in Yemen. We are the defenders of the Prophet. I, Sharif Qaishi, was sent by Al-Qaeda in Yemen. I went to Yemen and Anwar al-Awlaki financed me. It was only a few days ago that the police were denying that these attacks were a coordinated effort. But it's clear now that planning did take place and the Prime Minister has admitted that there's been a failure of intelligence. Police are still hunting Hayat Boumedien, the partner of Amadi Koulibaly, the supermarket attacker. She has vital information. The Paris prosecutor revealed the extent of communications between the group. The wife of Sherid Kouachid had, um, had um, called 500 times to um, Ahmed Koulibaly, so they're in constant communication with Koulibaly. In an audio message, the group Al-Qaeda in Yemen praised the attacks in France, but stopped short of claiming outright responsibility. Tim Friend, Al Jazeera, Paris.